afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, January 25. Rocky Delgadillo, director of Group ISMX, announced today the launch of a professional soccer team in Los Cabos. The launch of Los Cabos United took place this morning with the presence of Hugo Delgadillo, team president, and Rodrigo Ruiz, technical director of Los Cabos United. Jose Vázquez, president of Mexico's Premier League, confirmed that Los Cabos United has the support and validation of Mexico's Soccer Federation. Delgadillo spoke of Group ISMX's commitment to improve the Don Cole Stadium and invest in Los Cabos. After the press conference, Mr. Delgadillo spoke with Cabo Mil News about his vision for Los Cabos United. Happy to be here. Thank you. Tell us what makes you bring a professional soccer team to Los Cabos. We, we think that this is a, a great opportunity. We believe in the community. We believe in the place. Uh, we think that this is a, a ripe opportunity for uh, bringing professional soccer to this region. We also think that there's lots of talent that goes unseen not only here in uh, Los Cabos and in uh, Baja California Sur, but on the, on the mainland and in places like United States and Central America and, and South America as well. And we think this is a place where we can develop that talent and have them ascend along with the team to the higher levels. That's wonderful. And during the press conference, you mentioned there is going to be scouting of local talent. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we're going to have events, or tryouts, if you will, where local talent from around the region, not just here in Los Cabos, but around the region will come and be evaluated by our great technical staff. One of the things that we think we have a little advantage is that we have very high level technical staff. So they have high standards. Well, we believe that the kids in this, this part of the world can ascend to that level, can leap over that. Uh, and so we're hopeful that we'll find those great, talented kids that will go to the next level. And it's not just uh, um, uh, boys and men, but it's also women as well. So there will be a female soccer team here in Los Cabos in right. the future? There will be a, a female team and there will be an academy along with it uh, for both boys and girls uh, to help us develop the kids all the way through the system. Now, there's been talk about certain tryouts where the players have to pay in order to participate. Is that going to be the case? No, we don't. We're not charging anything. We're, what we are charging is that you put in the effort, you give it your all, you deliver your best when your best is required, and that you believe in your future. Then that's, that's, that's the price of admission. <laughs> Would you say that Los Cabos United is here to stay? We're, we're very excited about the future. We intend to ascend. We have uh, very lofty goals. But the other thing I think that's really important is that we want to be connected in the community, in the local community. I've never seen any endeavor, whatever, sports or otherwise, that has been successful that doesn't have roots in the community. We need to be connected to the community and the community has to feel like we're part of them. Um, and that's our only way to be successful. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Velo.